Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to um, our team meeting tonight. Um, got lots to share with you. So excited. Excited that we finally worked out how to do a video. So I hope you all heard that and saw it and it was good quality. Is that the case? Is it good? Tell me if not. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. OK, so tonight's team call we're going to be doing on um, simple placements. OK, so you've probably all seen uh, my placement videos or other people's placements videos um, on placements. And it can be quite complicated, particularly sometimes the way that I share it, my wife says. Um, <laughs> so I think it's perfect and very extensive and expansive and covers everything that's my opinion but rebecca has requested that i do a simple placement in 10 minutes so um i'm going to do that tonight so placements doesn't have to be too complicated there's a couple of key rules um and we'll do that but we're going to do that at the end um but first of all we are going to um just have some announcements so um just a reminder a reminder that the london summit so we, well, we've had the london summit but we've also got the other summits around the rest of the country um now i spent i was up till two half two last night adding all the events to our silver blossom um calendar so there's no excuses and not know when they are now guys all right so and if you think i've missed an event then message me and i'll add it um but they should all be up there you can't share those events uh, because they're private to Silver Blossom outside of that, outside of our Facebook page. However, the links in all of those are all Eventbrite links. So you can copy and paste the Eventbrite link and share that as much as you like. Um, and that's where people have got to book anyway. Where I've created the event, it isn't, I'm not in charge of that event necessarily. It's more to do with, I've had to create it for our calendar so that it can be seen there so everyone knows what's going on. Okay. So if you want to know events, you need to go to Silver Blossom. Uh, just a reminder of the Northampton Business Day um, and the Wellness Day on the 27th and 28th of October. It's going to be great. We've got some amazing speakers. Um, the early bird will run out in a week or two. So it's only £25 now for the Business Day and it will rise to £35. Um, and the Wellness Day is £35 plus lunch. Um, and that will rise to 45 pounds. So get them quickly. They're also, there's only a limit of 300 tickets per day. So they will sell out. Um, so it's not very many. So make sure you get your ticket. Um, and it's going to be a great day at the Haley, at the, um, builders day. We've got Boyd Truman. We've got, who's a double presidential diamond, Haley Hobson, who's a double presidential diamond come in. We've got uh, Vanessa Ovens, who's a presidential diamond, um, and we've got the leaders from the UK and Europe there as well. It's going to be a great day with loads of people that know what they're doing, how to build this business, to share with you their insights. And plus, we've got a party in the evening. The main reason for everyone wanting to come to this is there is a party on the Friday evening. We would love to see as many of, the, of you there as possible. If you're not coming for the business day, you can't make it, or and you're coming for the wellness day, we'll come for the party as well. The party is free for everybody and anybody that uses doTERRA products. Okay. Um, and don't forget European Convention. Um, it's selling out. Um, <laughs> and that's quite crazy because there's a limit of 7,000, but it's going very quickly. Um, so make sure you get your ticket. And again, that early bird will work. Well, it's the second early bird now, but the second to the pricing, and that's going to run out very soon as well. I think it's got another month on it before it goes to the next tier of pricing. So get it at it is now. I think it's about £95 right now, which is an absolute bargain. Cheapest it's ever been. Um, and particularly, it's in the UK, the travel costs are a lot less for us. Um, so all the events on our, on our Silver Blossom page can be found. So if we, if I just take you to, our Facebook page, you go to Silver Blossom, you go to events. Okay, you can have a look at the events in order. So it shows you there. 
we've got um, our October monthly webinar right there, our weekly webinar, sorry. There's also the, if any of you went on to the doTERRA corporate one, so I was just on that from half seven to 8.30, um, they run that once a month. So that's on here as well. Um, so you've got all our Zoom calls, which are weekly. Then you've got the Super Saturdays, the full tours. You've got the business day. Where you've got a picture of me, it's because I haven't found a picture yet. So I'll get a good picture. Or oh, it's an event. So for instance, with the when we've got the UK event coming up, for the Builders Day, EU Liver Cause, which is the day before convention, EU Liver Cause will always do a Builders Day, okay, the day before. However, they haven't done a link yet, or I don't even know if they've started organizing it properly yet. But I wanted you to all be aware to book that day that they will be doing a Builders Day. So I've just created an event there. When there's links available, I will post the links in those things with pictures. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So you can have a look at all the things check out or you can just have a look at it via a calendar view so it can tell you <clears throat> what we got going on in our team and etc there's a few more things to add to it um, etc now this obviously isn't including your own teams you're going to have your own team webinars um, etc um, if you're an Emily's team Emily has her own team webinars and Rochelle will have her own team webinars as well so if they clash with our webinars I would suggest you go on to your media uplines because it's going to be more, um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> I can't even think of the word. <laughs> it's going to be more um, relevant. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Kirsten. That's why you're here, Kirsten. That's why we've got you. Um, so that's the calendar. We've then got the August promotions. Now, most of you know exactly what the promotions are because you're all very excited about them. So I won't go over them too much, but I'll just quickly summarize them. So the product of the month is Breathe and it's five mil. So don't be disappointed that 15 mil bottle doesn't come. It's a five mil Breathe. And what that means is if you spend 125 PV on LRP, so this cannot be done by a new user, so a new enrollment can't get the product of the month. It has to be the second month, the earliest you can get it. Um, if, if you spend 125 PV, you get a free bottle of Breathe this month. Now, this is the best promotion that I've seen doTERRA ever do. And if you spend 200 PV, not only do you obviously get the brief because you spent over 125 PV, but you also get the balance, citrus bliss, and serenity, all for free, <laughs> which is fantastic. The next best promotion that doTERRA have done has been an Immortel and Frankincense, which hopefully they're going to be doing at Christmas again. Um, and then the other thing that doTERRA are doing is that if you buy um, the serenity combo back, you'll receive a 10% discount. I know lots of you have asked why they got Serenity in the promotion and Serenity in the 10% deal. I have no idea. I'm assuming they've got a lot of stock of it. <laughs> That's all I can see. That's all I can think of. Um, so that is the October promotions. Um, so I just wanted to also go over the Facebook pages because there's a lot of them and lots of you are getting confused, especially particularly when you're new to, to this. So I just wanted to. Um, explain to you guys what they were and then you can explain this to your teams okay so the first facebook group that i want all of you to be fully aware of is the essential gifts of the earth group this is for customers and builders and it's for everything product related this we we want to be your go-to this is where if you've got an ailment or you've got a question about an oil or whatever it is oil wise or product related please go to Essential Gifts of the Earth, okay? This is run by my mum. Um, so she approves the posts, etc. cetera. Um, and, um, but it's also run, it's run by the community. So all of our, everyone on mum's team, okay? So this is customers. So if you want to, you can add your customers all to this as well. Perfect for them. 
Um, but please, it's only for oil related stuff. Anything else won't be allowed to be posted. Okay. Um, then you've got two builders groups for our team. Your own teams will have, and your own leaders will have their own Facebook pages as well. But this is for us and, you know, for Rebecca and myself and for my mum's building pages. Okay. So there's building and sharing doTERRA. That is mum's, Becky Bowles's, uh, building doTERRA Facebook page. Okay. Um, and then we have our Silver Blossom Facebook page. So it's not necessary to be necessarily um, on both of them. If you want to limit the amount, I would suggest that you go on Silver Blossom because then you're going to get it stuff that's directly from us. We post on Build and Share in doTERRA, but if it's specific to just our team, then we will have to post that on Silver Blossom and not on Build and Share in doTERRA. So if you weren't on that Silver Blossom, you would um, so um, you can go on both though. So if you want to do both, do both, and they'll have different people comment on different things about the business. And that. Then you've got corporate groups, okay? So the doTERRA Europe corporate page, and this is a page, not a group, <clears throat> is for everybody, okay? So today is where they're announcing, if you've liked the page, you'll get announcements saying what the new, some of the new kits are for the new, Christmas gifts, okay? And every Monday of October, through that Facebook page, they're going to be announcing new kits that are being put onto those gift pages, okay? Um, so that's how corporate get in touch with everybody. It's also really, it's really great if you put your customers onto that corporate page because they'll be interested to know. It's for customers, everyone. Then you've got the Europe, Atlantic, and Mediterranean doTERRA leaders group. Okay, this is for all silvers and above. And this is where corporate speak to the leaders, so silver and above leaders, okay? Um, and then you've got doTERRA UK and Ireland corporate group. This is for everyone building the business, okay? So anybody that's joined that wants to know more or wants to be part of learning about doTERRA business, this is where you go. And then Europe Liver Cause group is run by the leaders so some leaders in europe so some top leaders and that's where you learn about boot camps that's where you learn about um builders days before convention and things like that it's a it's the group that's not corporate but run by the leaders to unite europe together okay so everybody has a voice within europe so those are the main pages that i would recommend that you subscribe to anything else isn't necessary but you might want to okay so there are other really useful groups out there your own team leaders will have their own really useful groups and they are necessary um, for your own team leaders because that's how they're going to be communicating with you in a lot of instances okay. so just chat to your team leaders as to how they could this is how we communicate with you for all these groups um oh. Lucky, didn't even do a big fanfare there or recognition. Okay, so we've got some great recognition to do for last month. Okay, now in the last meeting, you'll see that, Do, uh, that the doTERRA don't give the ranks because they don't properly know who's exactly ranked until the 25th of the following month. Um, but us, we can know exactly who's ranked because they're being overly cautious. We don't need to be like that. So. For, uh, sorry, for September, I don't know why it's that. September recognition, elites are Bethany Rycheck, <coughs> Verity Isk, Miriam Greaves, Debbie Lawrence, Saskia Bowulf, Leslie and Craig Fitzgibbons, John Gillam, and Leanne Gilroy. Excuse me, just well done, guys, for getting to elite. Elitism. You know, the builder's block, um, the very first rank, really, that um, starts to build a bigger ranks. So well done for getting there, guys. And um, it can be a tricky path to get there. Cause you're basically doing stuff mainly on your own um, into a LinkedIn. But... Oh, excuse me. <coughs> I'm missing Rebecca. Um, so um, we'd like to congratulate our two new premiers for last month. Dawn Tottle and Jackie Berry, 
congratulations, guys. I'd just like to mention Jackie because I met Jackie about a week and a half ago at the Portugal boot camp. And Jackie had set her mind, she just hit elite so that she could attend the boot camp because she had to be elite to attend. Um, and she set her mind that. I'll put her to my throat. And she set her mind to achieving Premier by the end of the month. Now that meant she had to have 2,000 PV. She stood up in, every, in front of everyone um, at the boot camp and said what her intention was of getting to Premier um, and then went about and did it. So I just want to recognise Jackie that she's done a fantastic job um, uh, of achieving that. Well done, Jackie, and well done to Dawn as well. Well done, guys. Um, and then we have another fantastic achievement. Mari Taylor has made it to gold. Um, and she's, <laughs> Mari's a breath of fresh air. And we just want to really congratulate her on, um, on getting to gold. It's really, really well done. Um, hopefully she's on. Are you on? All right. You might not. You might be doing your own team call. If you're on, just say hi. No problem. All right. So well done, guys. Um, now we've got our top enrollers for September. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, six people that have achieved eight enrollments last month. We've got John Gillam, Saskia, Stacy, Sarah, Vanessa O'Brien, and Vanessa Woosley. Well done, guys, for getting eight enrollments. Then we've got Linda McNeil, who got nine enrollments, and so did Georgina Florn. Uh, Debbie Lawrence got 10 enrollments and then Robin Fawcett or Dr. Fawcett, should we say, got 11 enrollments last month. Andrew Boswell, 13 enrollments. Jackie Berry, 14 enrollments. She needed to get 2000 PV. Well done, Jackie. And Miriam Greaves got 19 enrollments. That is an amazing amount of enrollments. Well done, Miriam. So I'd just like to congratulate um, all of the top enrollers this month for working so hard and doing so well. So this month, um, October, because of the promotions, um, we should see a lot of enrollments um, and a lot of people going on to LRP because of them. So uh, just, um, just watch out for October. I think it's going to be an awesome month. Um, last week, I told you some figures and they were incorrect. <laughs> so I apologize for that. But here are the correct figures for the worldwide diamonds. Okay. So worldwide, there are 847 diamonds. There's 15 in Europe, five in the UK. There's 222 blue diamonds worldwide, four in Europe and one in the UK. And there's 75 presidential diamonds plus. So that's double diamonds, double presidential diamonds, etc. cetera, um, in the world. There's none in Europe and there's none in the UK currently. Okay. Um, now I'm just gonna go into placements made simple, okay? If you've got questions, we'll open up to questions at the end, uh, I'll end the recording so that we'll record this for everybody. Um, and then we can ask questions as long as you like, really. Um, so placements made simple. First of all, the very first thing you do with placements is you're looking to, to decide are you going to make them a wholesale customer or are you going to make them a wellness advocate? So it's really important to understand the difference between wholesale customers and a wellness advocate. So wholesale advocate, so, sorry, wholesale customers and wellness advocates both get 25% off retail. They both can earn loyalty reward points. They both can earn shipping reward points. And if they do 125 PV on LRP, they both can receive the free product of the month. Um, and they both have their own shopping account. So every, all of you guys have got your own shopping account. If you were a wholesale customer, that is all you would see, however, is the shopping account. Okay. So, that, so this is where the, the wellness advocate now has additional functionality that a wholesale customer doesn't. So a wholesale, sorry, a wellness advocate can has its own have their own retail websites which you can send to people, and you can make twenty five percent of that. 
a wholesale customer does not have that option. Um, the wellness advocate has the business part of the back office. The wholesale customer does not have any of that. They only have the shopping part, remember. The wellness advocate can earn money and commissions. The wholesale customer cannot earn anything. And the wholesale customer cannot have a downline. You cannot put anybody underneath a wholesale customer, but you can build a wellness advocate because they're doing the business. Okay. So those are the differences between a wholesale customer and a wellness advocate. You can tell that a retail customer doesn't get any of those benefits. <laughs> so hopefully you understand that you don't, it's not in your customer's best interest to do retail. <coughs> Nathan, can I, Nathan, can you hear me without an echo? I don't know. Yeah, you're fine, Kirsten. Okay. Um, so a user and a sharer is wholesale? No. And Okay. Comes that next. Sorry. No, you're fine. So the wholesale customer, those are the, so the, the two types of account. When you sign somebody up, is a wholesale customer or wellness advocate. Okay. A wholesale customer is just a customer. Okay. If you want to do a share, so there'll be a user, for instance. If you want to do a sharer or builder, you're going to sign them up as a wellness advocate. Okay. Does that make sense, Kirsten? Okay, Thank cool. you. So, the seven levels. So, just simply put, when you're looking to place somebody, you're looking to decide are they a customer, sharer, or builder, like you've just said, Kirsten. Okay. And then you sign them up accordingly. So, if they are a customer, almost 95% of the time, you are going to sign them up as what? Level five to seven, but I don't get which ah, No, you're going you're gonna to sign them up as a wholesale customer. Oh, I'll get you. Okay. And then you're looking to place them. Okay. So you've got seven levels or you've got 20 levels underneath you. Or when you first start, you've got only one level, right? So when you first start and you've got nothing underneath you and you've signed somebody up, where do you place them? Level one? Yes, because <laughs> you have no choice. They have to go underneath you, okay? So when you first start, a lot of the rules which we teach you in, in placements, you're gonna have to break because you have to start building something. So when you have a wholesale customer, if you, you do, your first kind of customers that you're gonna bring on, you wouldn't sign up as a wholesale customer because you can't put people underneath them. So you're going to need to sign them up as a wellness advocate, even if they're just customers. Okay. All right. So you're looking to, in an ideal world, you're looking to have seven levels. Okay. And you're looking to place them. Your frontline builders go on your level one. Your second level builders, so these are builders that aren't quite as good, go on your level two. Sharers, which are people that would just into you know just introducing the products they don't really want to do the business that you know give much time to it um they go on your level three and then level four could be sharers or really good customers you know people that customers that are on 100 pv or they buy they buy every month or you know they're going to buy every month and then everybody else all other customers goes on your five six seventh level now the key thing here is that most people make the mistake of 90% of the people that you sign up are going to be customers, okay? They're all going to be customers. Where you want to place those 90% of people is on your levels four and below, okay? And you want to sign them up as a wholesale customer, ideally, okay? Except for right at the beginning when you're trying to get your structure You've got some customers and that's all you've got. You might have to sign them up as a wellness advocate. Now with that, you might, you might want to talk to your upline just to get some help with that. Placements is a tricky thing to get hold of, okay? And I'm trying to do this in 10 minutes. Um, but simply put, what you want to do is you just want to look at the seven levels that you've got. Do you place them as a customer? Do you place them as a sharer? Or do you place them as a builder? And then speak to your upline just to get clarification. 
there are also some other things to consider. Okay, so when you're looking to place them under somebody, which leader will they work with best? Where do I need a builder or the volume so that you can rank? Who in my team needs a builder or the volume so that they can rank? And what's best for the new enrollee? It's really important. If, the, if, you, if you're not doing what's best for the new enrollee and that person you know is not going to get on with their upline and you place them there because you need the volume, well, that would be very short-sighted because they're never going to do anything with the business because they're not going to get on with their upline. So it's much better to place them and sacrifice a bit of the volume that month on that leg so that you can build it somewhere else um, later on down the line because these people will get on. Um, if you go to your graphical tree, your geographical tree, which is on, you go to downline and then you click on geographical tree, you'll be able to have a look at your tree, which might look a little bit like this, some of you. Um, this is somebody's tree on our on our line. Um, you've got um, the green is obviously a wholesale customer, and you'll notice with all the green wholesale customers, they do not have anybody underneath them. And then you'll notice the purples; they are wellness advocates, and they have people underneath them. You've got the yellows and dark greens and the pinks. That just means that those are different ranks. So those guys are slightly different ranks. Um, and so when you look at the graphical tree to, to decide where you're going to place the people. So you know they're going to go on your second level. Do I put them under that dark green or do I put them underneath the yellow? Where do I put them? Or do I put them underneath a brand new person? Because you're sure this person is a second level builder. Then you just decide with the things to consider which show is best. That is placements in a nutshell, okay? And I don't know if I did an amazing job about it, but I'll get better at that. But um, do we have questions? We've got the chat here, let's have a look. Um, Pam's asked, in the early stages of building your team, it's the cost for a customer, they have to be a wellness ad. It costs exactly the same to be a wellness advocate as it does to be a wholesale customer. It doesn't cost any more. It's £24 to sign up. That's it. Or you get, an, you get a put in it where the account is free. Nathan, I've got a question. Yes, sir. Do you think that um, in reality, is it, is it I'm, I'm finding that sometimes... I'm needing to kind of ask customers to upgrade themselves because I want to be able to put someone underneath them. Do you, is that kind of a normal practice, would you say? That people kind of, they, you know, if, they're, if they've got too many green people and they want to kind of build down? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say I'd, if that's what works best for your team and that's, and that's the, and you know that customer, then yeah, I wouldn't say that's an issue at all. Um, that's why you might, in the beginning, have to sign some customers up as wellness advocates. And yeah. what's great about the wholesale customer is, is that you can sign people up. Um, even with, so we, we used to before, you'd get people that, I know they're gonna be a good builder eventually, and you sign them up and place them somewhere, and it might take them two or three years but you can sign them up as a wholesale customer. And when they decide to build, after three months, that's the earliest time you can do it, but you can then upgrade them and you have another 14 days to move them into anywhere you want to, if you're the enroller. Okay, so that's a really good option that we've only just had for like two months now. Um, uh, Pam said, get a lady today as a wholesale customer and was not aware she could become a wellness advocate for the same price. Yes, it's free to upgrade. It's exactly the same thing. Any other questions? Kirsten, did that answer for you? I think so. I just need to get some more customers to figure it all out, and I'll, I'll come to you, Nathan. <laughs> so that's fine. I've got eight, eight in the pipeline, so I'm working on it. Okay, cool, cool. So 
sorry, was there someone there that was going to ask a question? Yeah, Nathan, it's um, it's V speaking. Um, Hello, V. I've not met you before, I don't think. No, hi. Hello. Um, I signed up with um, through Eva. Oh, cool. Yeah, hi. Oh, yeah. Um, quick question. So I've got two builders. Well, no, I don't. I have a built one builder, and I have my mum as a placement. She's not doing anything for it but um i ha i put her there because i didn't know i was going to have a builder yep. i've now got about six people that i signed up last week and um i i'm trying to work out whether to put them on half of them under my mum as a placeholder and half under my builder or all of them under my builder the idea is with the with my mum's placement is that when I get my second builder, I'll hopefully just slot them in so that they're already kind of. Are they all customers? They're all customers, yeah. It doesn't really matter what you do in that situation. <laughs> right, okay. That's what Eva thought so, but she said to check with you tonight. No, either way can work well. I mean, there isn't like a like a definitive guide to this. This is... What we're, to, what we're trying to do is put like a science to it, but there could be multiple options with placements that you could decide where they could go and it'd be absolutely great. And the thing about placements is you will make mistakes. I guess ne you're never going to get it perfect. The idea is to try and minimize those mistakes so you can maximize the compensation plan, make the most money that you can out of it. But in that situation, you know, if they're just if they're all just customers, I would try and, if you can, split them enough so that you could try and be premier if you had enough volume there to do so. If you didn't, you might want to jig it around a little bit different. But um, that's what I'd probably try and do if you had enough volume to try and get premier. I don't really understand what it means, but volume and premier. I guess that's why I don't kind of. Premier is a rank. Yeah, no, I get, I get that. So, and you need to have a certain amount of volume to be premier. So to be premier, you need 5,000 overall volume, but you need to have it split between two frontline people and we call them legs. Okay. So therefore, if I split it between the two, the two, yes. built, yeah, my mum and the other one. And Which is why I say, you know, if you've got your mum and the other and the other builder you got mm. two legs there if you had two thousand on each of them mm. and an overall of five thousand you'd be premier and you'd get an extra bonus for being premier right okay so it could work out that you would do that yeah because um, yeah. they're just customers if they were builders you would do different things yeah you would do more what's best for the builder customers don't really care they just want to order the kits they don't really mind where they go they don't know where they're going anyway really so no no okay all right brilliant thank you no problem um general general um sorry question on builders um can you have too many never you right okay good what you can have kirsten is too many that you have to build at once right okay because that will take up an enormous amount of your time However, yeah. if you have that problem, that's a blessing. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep, we'll cover that when that we come to that. <laughs> come to that when that happens. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know how many people to persuade into the building world. So okay. Okay. Um, so Michelle wants to know how you upgrade a wholesale customer. So the one way that you can upgrade a wholesale customer is if the customer calls customer support and asks to be upgraded the other way is the customer can upgrade themselves in their accounts there's a i've never seen it actually i've just been told so i'm not using a wholesale customer account obviously but there's a button that you can press and they press it and it says are you sure you want to upgrade to wellness advocate account you say yes it will upgrade it to a wellness advocate account you just need to tell your builders to do that but you want to be very careful with them doing that or getting them to call customer service because if you do it and upgrade them within three months, they're stuck exactly where they're at. So if that's fine and you're happy with where they're at, then they'll stay there and they'll be, they'll be upgraded to wellness advocate. 
or you just wait till after the three months of them signing up, then you get customer service or get them to do it, then you'll have the option to move them again, which in almost 95% of the cases will be what you want to do. Okay. Um, and it's not possible for you to upgrade somebody for them at the moment. We have asked for that, but can't do it at the moment. The wholesale customer has been designed for customers, not for builders. Okay, a little bit has been designed for builders, as in the moving part of them, but customers don't want to see the building part of it. They, you know, it's given the power to the customers, which is great because it shows that this is not just a multi-level marketing company. This is a retail-focused, customer-driven business. We can show that with console customer. Um, Sandy's asked, what's the advantage of a wellness advocate as opposed to a customer? Well, the main one is that a wellness advocate has a downline. Mm -hmm. So if the customer doesn't mind having a downline, then perfect. But the other advantage of Placing some, of signing somebody up as a customer is that after three months, if they sign, decide to build, you can move them to a better position. Okay. So if you think that person is just a sharer at the beginning, and they become a uh, a better builder, you could upgrade them to a wholesale customer, uh, a wellness advocate, and you could move them wherever you wanted to. In your team. Okay. Thank you, uh, Michelle. Did you say there is a minimum of three months though? There is a minimum of three months, yes. Thank you. Obviously you've got the four, first 14 days that you can move them, obviously there's that, but after the 14 days and between the three months, they are stuck where they're at if you upgrade them in that time. Well, if that's sorry, if they upgrade themselves, I should say. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Is everyone coming to all of our events? You're all coming, right? No one's nodding. Shocking. Kirsten, you've got a nod. Nathan, yeah. I had a question. <laughs> Good. Who is that? Who's that? Uh, it's uh, Matt, Matt and Dana from Andy's team. Hello, um, Matt and Dana. We've got um, a couple of people who have been put underneath us, but I noticed on one of them there's a green customer that has a customer then underneath them. I, I didn't think that was possible. It's not possible. Because <laughs> oh, right. on my on my graphical tree, there's just a green person, and then a line underneath that with another green person underneath. Well, Are just, they, is yeah. it a darker green? No, it's exactly the same. Nathan, I have an answer for that. <laughs> Go on, John. Right, it's in my business, I think, because I put it um, the customer under Matt and Dana. And initially, because she came to one of our classes and she said she would like to, um, I'll put my face on there so you know who I am. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, she said she'd like to be a sharer. She was quite keen on building the business. Um, she went home that evening. However, her partner at home had different ideas. Hey, I don't get you into this, you know, blah, blah, blah. So she cancelled it within 24 hours. Um, whether she phoned um, the office or not, I don't know, but somehow she put herself back just as a wholesale customer. And it just remained, as Matt quite rightly said, as two, I mean, me and Steve were talking about it, we thought it was to sort of move up shortly, but it didn't. So there we go, that's all I can tell you. If any of that makes sense. <laughs> no, that, that makes sense. I'm what you found there, John, is a loophole, and we all love loopholes. Well, there you go. Brilliant. <laughs> well, yeah. that, thank you for that, John. Because I, I wanted someone who was signed up that way, so I could actually bung customers under the yeah. person. So, uh, that didn't go quite well, but... Uh, <laughs> that didn't go to plan. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thanks for explaining that, John. You had us stumped. Thanks very much. No worries, Matt. Anyone have any questions about any of the events or any of the promotions? Oh, no worries. Probably got the corporate one, so you saw lots of it going on. Well, Rebecca um, is having a great time in um, Kenya. Um, uh, she said it was one of, it was an amazing day today that she had. 
um, visiting with the children um, and they gave them an amazing welcome um, and giving them the uh, pencil cases with pencils and things of like that in and I'm not sure what they've done with the oils yet. I mean, they've got cases of oils that doTERRA have given. So I'm not sure what they're going to do with them, but I look forward to hearing what they do with them. So we'll keep you updated on on uh, Rebecca's healing. Well, so Rebecca is the UK's healing hand project at the moment. So um, see what they're doing. So thanks everyone for coming on. Um, remember, it's our next team call is next week at half past eight again. So we look forward to seeing you next week. But um, October is a great month. This is the best promotion that DoTerra have done since. Since I've been in doTERRA, and that's two and a bit years now. So make the most of this awesome promotion. All right. So have a great month, guys, and um, enjoy placements. And if we need to do some more training on placements, then let me know. See you later, guys. Bye. Yeah, thanks, Nathan. Great. Bye, Dave. No problem. Marius, are you still there?